the six points there. And uh, we know them very well. We played two times on their soil. We won one game, we drew one. So it's an open game and uh, I don't see that, that we can escape now one more time with the same situation. If we play well, if we do what we need to do on the pitch, I, I'm quite sure we're going to win the game. So there is no other option for us than going out there and winning the game. So nothing has changed. We are still here, we are still alive. We are still here to win the tournament. How much of a help it would be that uh, you have just mentioned that India played two games against Nepal in their home cell. How much of a help it would be? I mean, it can be very helpful to them and to us. We know each other. I would say that uh, not many things change there. So they might have different approach because they have six points. So they might calculate in this game going for point or playing only counter attacking football that they might be dangerous also, you know. So you never know what their coach going to decide upon. Uh, but we are not worried about that. We need to go up from the very first minute. Uh, not let like against Sri Lanka where we didn't expect throughout all the game that the players will be falling down and when we did analysis on the game we calculated 27 minutes of wasted time which is embarrassing. I think the tournament like this should serve in promoting football and referees should do better in such situations when it's obvious that players are not uh, having any problems but just wasting time you know so uh, never mind, that, that's not an alibi not winning the game. Even with the 30 minutes played, we need to win against Sri Lanka. Clear as that. Yeah. Uh, you view the last two games uh, with uh, the last opponents. So what's your approach to the next game, upcoming game? The same it was uh, as we did in Nepal. You know, we went, we went to Nepal uh, with a very short preparation time and uh, faced a difficult opponent because believe me, it's, it's not the same when you play uh, these teams at home and away. It's far, far different, you know, because pitches are very different, uh, speed of the grass is different, even the balls are different. So many things are different. And of course, a uh, uh, home crowd helps. It's very supportive and it's your 12, 12 player on the stands, you know. So it was not easy, but if we, if we did win in Nepal the last game, if we drew one there, so I think we can do it here. We shouldn't be worried about that, but we need to be committed, we need to be disciplined. We were not disciplined enough and for simple reasons and simple mistakes we don't have six points now. Uh, question to Brandon, uh, could you tell us as to what the mood in the camp is among the players? Uh, obviously, uh, two disappointing results, uh, you know, the mood in the camp, you know, was obviously dull, but, uh, you know, we have everything to fight for in, in our upcoming match, and uh, we have two games, and all we can think is about positive, and, uh, the next match is very crucial for us. We are focused, we have prepared well for this game and we are certain that we are going to play well tomorrow and uh, win the match. Mr. Bennett, Yeah, Mr. Player. So the coach is always saying that there is no pressure at the team. What have you to say about this one? Uh, well, every match uh, there is pressure. Uh, in football, there is no match without pressure and, uh, you know, the coach is not putting any pressure on us. Uh, that's a good thing and uh, he gives us that confidence and uh, we as players uh, need to show it on the pitch. And tomorrow is a day for us, a uh, very important game and I think uh, when you go on the pitch tomorrow, we'll do everything and uh, we will try to do our best and uh, we win the match tomorrow. You have your pure Nepalese team? What do you have to show Nepalese team, your view? The Nepalese team? Yeah. Uh, they, are, they are a very good team and I think uh, they are in a very good position in this tournament. Uh, uh, we, you know, we don't think too much about them. We think about ourselves and uh, what we want to do on the pitch. 
and uh, yeah that is our focus and uh, we will focus on ourselves and try to do uh, whatever whatever we do in the trainings on the pitch and uh, have a good game are you starting to work uh it is you know uh, we are still preparing and it's up to the coach uh, if who he wants to start tomorrow but whoever is if i'm starting i will give my 100% and whoever i mean all the other players whoever is on the on the on the on the field tomorrow all 11 will go and give their 100% coach uh, we have seen in last match captain chetri he is sorry who is talking yeah yeah uh, sorry uh, yeah like captain chetri uh, he is frustrated in basta because he did not get a, a ball from midfield and what are the what is your solution about this situation mm, i am not sure where did you see that he was frustrated did you speak with him no uh, in basta we have seen from his facial expressions Ah, body, body language. Of course, the forward players are in that position that they cannot be served so as midfielders, or they don't have so many touches with the ball as uh, back players, defensive players, wide players, or midfielders. You know, that's in the game. They get as many balls as they work for. they need to show up they need to open they need to be there they need to find the gaps they need to show up in the holes and all that but uh, the truth is that we didn't provide many quality balls for sonil but anyway he is there he did have two opportunities to score with the headers clean open headers which we normally does uh, this time didn't happen you know but i think that frustration comes from not winning not from not uh, receiving many balls you know coach uh, as you have mentioned that uh, first two games were the dis- disappointing results up to until now what's your thought on the game yes in india have to play more these and nepal in quick space of time as i said no- nothing has changed in regards to the uh, reason why we here what's the reason why we here you know so everything is still open you know there is plenty of uh, combinations and we didn't we didn't uh, win here we didn't came here with the reason to win 6 7 8 or 9 points we came here to win the tournament i don't mind how many points we're going to get you know so even with 6 points there is possibility we're going to go to the final so but let's not let's not think about mathematics we need to do everything on the pitch to deserve good result which will uh, make us in more comfortable position you know